Mohammed Mo, how can we, what do we call you? Mohamedou. Mohamedou. Okay, Mo Mohamedou, welcome to, um, welcome to the club. Pleasure. Uh, you've, uh, you, we noticed in your record you, you played for Dulwich and you were Kingstonian this season. Mm -hmm. um, have you been, what, what is your history? Where did you start playing football originally? Where did you, did you was you at a pro club? Um, I've never been in a pro setup in England. Um, well, 16, I was with Mazza. I was with, I was with at Mario. Yeah, at yeah, 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 yeah. But then I went up and played elite with, with him as well. And then um, after that, I went out to Italy to play pro. Okay. When I was 18, I went out to Italy to play pro. And then. Um, Which club in Italy? Did you Yeah, it's called um, L'Aquila. They were in Serie C at the time. Made okay. my debut in the Serie C. Okay. And then the season after, I went out to Serie D, played okay. there. So. Yeah, it was good. It was a good experience. And then came back, played for Dalic. One season got promoted with them. Yeah. And now I'm here. Yeah, and joined Kingstonian pre season. Yeah, 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 that was that was good. That was good. But yeah. now I'm here. You know? Yeah, good. Yeah. Finally you you come to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh who would you say your biggest influence in your career has been to date? Someone who's you know, maybe pushed you that extra yard or made made you make the right decisions? Um, to date, probably say my dad, my brother. There's there's a lot. It's not just yeah. one person. You know what I'm saying? Sure. My dad, my brothers, my people around me. You know, always trying to guide me. Yeah. Um, trying to keep me straight. Um, yeah, I just can't pinpoint it to one person. I can say a lot of coaches as well. So um, yeah, I've learned a lot from all of them. They've all tried to keep me straight, and I'm always grateful for them. Yeah. Um, in your career to date. Um, your favourite moment that sticks in your memory? Hmm. Apart from signing for the <laughs> Um Probably my debut in Italy. Yeah. Yeah, that that was a lot of that was a proud moment for me, you know. Um just making my family proud. You yeah. know. Being out there as a young kid, eighteen, no family there, focusing on just football and then actually making my debut there. When you was out there as an eighteen year old um, and pro, you know, you're playing your pro contract. Who else was out there with you? Was family out there with you? No, no family, no family. It was, just, on your own, it was just me. It was just me, and then um, um, there was a couple English boys that I was with. They were currently friends now, best yeah. friends. Um, yeah, I was out there with them. Two of them. Yeah, we was out there together. So you know, it's like a family thing between us. Yeah. So that made it easier. And then the second year it was just one of them. So. Yeah, it was good. It was a very good experience. Yeah, young life, eh? Yeah. Disappointment in your career today? No disappointments. No no losses, just lessons, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Grateful for everything. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Grateful for everything. Yeah. Ambition for this season? Now you've come to the With town. With Anfield Town to get promoted. To get promoted. 100%. Yeah. That's, that's the aim. If we can't win the league, then it's promotion. Right, now, I know a little bit about this story, mm. but maybe you'd like to tell the camera. How did you end up signing for Infield Town? <laughs> <laughs> Start in the summer, please. Alright, so um, <laughs> um, in the summer I just had a lot of offers and then um, Maz came and spoke to me, but by this time I'd already, my mind was set, I'd already signed for Kingstonian, yeah. but um, you know, me and Maz, we talk, so always keeping in contact, how's the season going, how's the season going, and then um, he he came up to me. Um, we just always message, you know. What I mean, we always yeah. chatting, you know. And then um, he was asked about my current situation, what's happening, why am I not playing? And then um, from there, it was just, you know, yeah, it all yeah. coming to place. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean. And then it's just the thing they had to go to the club. The club initially said no, and then um, that was that. Yeah. But then change, the club had to change of heart. And sure. Suddenly. Mans was right there. Yeah. Pounced and it's I was thinking, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I, you know, I just thought Enfield was the right club for me. You know? I yeah. want to play, I want to show what I can do. Mo, so. I've seen you play two games now. You're certainly going to add something spectacular Thank you. to us. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, now we get some, some questions here, <laughs> which I ask all players. Okay, you can tell me what your preference is. For example, Neil Mark. You'll say cool. me. No, cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mark. Mark. <laughs> right. Um, I'll take 
I don't know who you're a drinker, but are you beer, lager, or soft drink? It's definitely a soft drink. Soft drink, <laughs> that's it. That's the sort of players we want to really. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Coronation Street or EastEnders? EastEnders. Oh. Okay, are you a baseball cap man or a snapback? Whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit old, but I'm just like a baseball cap. Thank goodness baseball. George is here, who, who knows these things. Um, you won't remember those two. There's Lionel with Gary Lineker. Gary. Gary. Uh, Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Okay. Do you think uh, that Man City are the team at the moment, or Barcelona are always the team? Man City. Man City. Okay. If you were. You're a top player, but if you were a top, top player, are you a club man or a country man? I feel like there's nothing more. It's got to be a country. It has yeah. to be. It has to be. For but example, Champions League or the World Cup? World Cup. Yeah. So you're a World, Cup. World Cup. Yeah. Right, we go on to. Right, we had 30 degrees heat in the summer. We were baking hot. Everyone got fed up with it. Mm. Are you a shirt on, shirt off, or the vest man? Shirt off. Shirt off. Even though I ain't got nothing but. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Facebook, Twitter or Instagram? Twitter. Okay, BT Sports or Sky? Sky. TV presenters. Are you a Hoddle man or a Michael Owen man? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go with Glenn. <laughs> Glenn Hoddle. Uh, Gary Neville or Carragher? Go. Shearer or, or Roy Keane? Shearer. Okay. Right, now, you don't know your change room that great, mm. but someone may have caught your eye by now. Mm. Who do you think would be best fit for Big Brother? Youngie. Youngie. Yeah. That's what a lot of people have said, you know. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be the worst. Let me let me just leave that. <laughs> let's skip that one. Let's skip that one. I'll help you. I'll, I'll help you out. I can't think any worse than being in the same house as Aaron Green. <laughs> it drives you nuts, really. Yeah, he's kind of funny actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of funny. He's kind of funny. Good, uh, Mohamedou. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. We're Appreciate looking forward to your first goal for the town. And remember, when you score it, come and wave at the camera. No problem. Right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.